Volunteers are a vital part of the Dearborn Public Libraries. You provide a valuable service to the community by helping to maintain everything from organizing resources to working with our youngest citizens on crafts. The main branch, the Henry Ford Centennial Library, is divided into six agency groups. Administration, Automation, Circulation, Children's Services, Adult Services, and Processing. There are four libraries in the city of Dearborn. Henry Ford Centennial is on the south side of the road between Greenfield and Southfield Freeway. The Bryant Branch is on the northwest corner of Michigan Avenue in Mason. Esper Branch is on the southwest corner of Warren and Oakman. And the Snow Branch is on the northeast corner of Princeton and Telegraph. Each branch provides circulation of materials, programs, displays, contests, internet access, and reference materials. The library provides a lending service of books, audio CDs, and DVDs. This is called circulation. The information service allows someone to do research on a subject. That is called reference. We need dependable people like you to provide valuable backup to our full and part-time staff. Many volunteers have given several thousand hours of their time to help keep organized and maintain all the resources that we have. We appreciate you choosing to share your time and talents with us. Most of our volunteers shelf. That's the primary function that they have at Bryant. They first of all have to know whether an item belongs on our shelves and be able to identify that because each item in the Dearborn Public Library system has a home. So they need to secondly know where the item goes. They need to know the various collections and be able to put that item away. So shelving involves other things such as sensitizing each item. They have to be able to use the machine that turns on the items theft prevention. So shelving is the major function. The other way that we use volunteers is for processing and that's usually done by more experienced volunteers. The third way that we use volunteers here is to shelf read. Things get out of place real easily, so we periodically have the volunteers go through the collections and look to make sure that an item is in the right place and understand how to put back something numerically correctly or alphabetically correctly. eyesight is extremely important. The volunteers also have to be fairly mobile. Most of the jobs that are given to the volunteers, they're moving around the library. They're not just sitting at a desk. The exception to that is processing, but as I said, only the more experienced volunteers wind up processing sitting in one spot. The rest of them have to be able to move throughout the library, put something on the top shelf or on the bottom shelf. What's important is that you present yourself cleanly and neatly to the public. The volunteers are representing the library. We have usually three shifts a day of volunteers lasting from two and a half hours to three hours. Some of the clerical duties you will be required to perform include reshelving books and checking shelf order. This will assure that our patrons can find the books that they are looking for in the right location. This requires using the Dewey Decimal System, which organizes books on the library shelves in a specific and repeatable order that makes it easy to find a book and return it to its proper place. We receive a tremendous amount of paperback books that have to be processed into our circulation system. You will be helping us process these books by stamping them with the library information.
working in the children's area, there are some unique activities you can help with. I'm Mary Oren, and I'm an assistant librarian in children's services at Henry Ford Centennial Library. We use volunteers here at the library for our summer reading program. Each year, Children's Services at each Dearborn Public Library offers a summer reading program for children ages birth through 12. And children come to the library with their families to read books and have fun. Part of that program is a craft program that is offered one day a week at each of the Dearborn Public Libraries. Last summer, volunteers assembled over 2,000 crafts to use in this program. We need volunteer help to make this possible. Here at Henry Ford Centennial Library, we are Craft Central. We are Santa's workshop, so to speak. Volunteers assemble craft kits that are used at all other Dearborn Public Libraries. This is a lot of counting, measuring, cutting, and putting and packing kits. Let me demonstrate what we do here. One of our crafts this past summer was a Jingle Bell wristband. Each child was able to leave the library with Jingle Bells on their wrist. What volunteers did was to package a complete kit that each child received. In the kit, volunteers would put pipe cleaners, the instructions for completing the kit, feathers, and jingle bells. So the volunteer's job was to assemble and count out kits for each Dearborn Public Library. Another kit that we'll be assembling for next summer reading program is this little paper plate fish aquarium. This involves cutting the centers out of 400 paper plates, cutting the cellophane that will go in between the plates, and using our die cut Ellison machine to cut out the fish. Volunteers use the die cut machine quite a bit. It's very simple. And produces the shapes that will be packaged into the kit. One fish, one piece of paper for seaweed, Wiggly eyes. A piece of yarn. And two plates. Paper clipped together, and this is what would be packaged for each branch, and each child would receive this kit. This is the behind the scenes work that volunteers do here at the library. Then there's work out on the floor, so to speak. On any given craft day here at Henry Ford Centennial Library, between 11 a.m. and 4 p.m., at least 100 children and their families come in to do crafts at the library. So we need volunteers on the floor to help the children with their crafts and to pass out craft kits to children and their families. With all the use our materials get, there is a need on occasion to discard some items and to repair those that can be saved. You will be assisting us by stamping, repairing, and packaging discarded items that are beyond repair. Recording data is another way you may be assisting us. 
Your flexibility and willingness to help out wherever the need is that day will allow things to run smoothly. If you are more tech savvy, you may volunteer to monitor the use of the computers and assist patrons with the use of the copier, printer, internet, word processing, and any other special projects. There may be an opportunity to assist in the planning, preparation, implementation, and cleanup for library and literacy programs for patrons of all ages. Displays add to the environment of the library. You may be helping to put these displays up as well. The programming services we provide are educational and fun for all ages. As a volunteer at any of the libraries, you will need to keep track of the hours you work in a log. You'll need to wear your name tag so that patrons will easily be able to identify you when they need assistance. Volunteers are required to direct all questions to a staff member other than purely directional questions such as where the bathrooms are located. Staff members are trained to deal with questions about the library's collections, services, policies, and procedures. Volunteers are ambassadors for the library and need to present a positive image to the public. It is expected that each volunteer's dress and grooming will be appropriate for the business environment and in keeping with his or her work assignment. If a volunteer is dressed in an inappropriate manner, they may not be able to work their shift. Since you are a valuable member of our library team, we need you to be responsible for contacting your supervisor if you need to make any changes to your schedule. Having a positive attitude with patrons and staff will make your volunteer experience rewarding for everyone. We need people like you with good customer service skills who are team players. We look forward to working with you at the Dearborn Public Library. Thank you for viewing the volunteer orientation video. We hope you have better understanding of volunteer opportunities at the Dearborn Public Library. If you're interested in applying for a volunteer position at the Dearborn Public Library, you can either pick up an application or download one from our website, dearbornlibrary.org and return it to any library branch.